So, in case of ADC analog to digital converter, so there are several errors that can come up. So, two major errors uh, are the uh, sorry, aliasing error and quantization error. So, aliasing error so, or sampling error, so this occurs when the input signal is changing much faster than the sampling rate. So, we have seen previously while discussing on sample and hold circuit that the sampling rate should be sufficiently high so that signal can be reconstructed at the receiving end. So, here also when we are converting one analog signal to digital signal, the sampling rate should be sufficiently high so that we have enough information about the signal and later on when that digital signal uh, is uh, processed, so this digital signal is having enough information about the analog signal so that later reconstruction may be possible. So, there is a, a theorem called Nyquist rule which, uh, which is to be followed for this sampling. So, this sampling Nyquist rule, so it answers question of what sample rate is required. So, it, it is required that uh, a sampling frequency should be at least twice as high as the maximum frequency in the signal to avoid aliasing. So, maximum frequency of a signal in a signal means it's in, in the analog signal. For example, if there is a uh, say music that is playing, so there are several signal frequencies that are uh, there. So, if you if you want to get a true picture about the music, so it ha you have to uh, find out what is the maximum frequency in that music and the sampling rate should be uh, twice that of the highest frequency. So, if we do not do that, so there will be aliasing. So, later on the, the reconstruction may be problematic. So, you may not get the actual the original signal back in its true form. So, the third point here is actually uh, telling us that uh, what is the uh, formula. So, this one this the sampling frequency should be twice the signal frequency or you can say the maximum frequency in the signal. So, this is the aliasing error. Another type of error that can come uh, we have seen in the quantization process. So, quantization as we have uh, discussed in the last class, so we the while converting from uh, analog to digital signal, so we do not have all the levels of analog signals available uh, for the um, for to be converted into digital form. And if there is if I have got an n bit ADC, then the number of different uh, uh, digital pattern is 2 to the power n. So, if the total voltage is say V reference, so this V ref divided by 2 to the power n, so many different voltage levels are only possible to be recognized by the analog to digital converter. So, whenever I, so if these levels are named as L1, L2 up to say L, so this quantity being equal to say K, so this LK, so between L1 and L2 there is a change in voltage. So, any signal which lies between L1 and L2. Uh, any analog signal, uh, so that is quantized as equal to L1. Similarly, anything lying between L2 and L3 will be quantized as, as L2. So, naturally it introduces uh, some error. So, this, this error is the quantization error. So, uh, if we want to uh, re reduce this quantization error, so we have to increase the resolution. So, if I want that this value of k should be uh, large, then this uh, this uh, this number of levels uh, should be large then what we have to do is that we have to uh, so we have so there are 2 to the uh, in this case there are 2 to the power n levels so if we want that to be large then the value of n should be large so as a result this uh, the, this uh, voltage difference so this is not lk so this is l 2 to the power n so l1 l2 up to l2 to the power n so, if I if I want that uh, we, I, I have large number of levels, then this value of n should be sufficiently large. So, that means that uh, this converter will be more complex. So, this is, this is dependent on the ADC converter of the microcontroller. So, be, be, very often, so the underlying processor or the, the microprocessor or microcontroller, so they have got built in ADC and this ADC, um, uh, ADC for the ADC the resolution is fixed. So, you cannot change it. So, error is dependent on that. So, these are the two sources of uh, error in case of uh, uh, ADC applications. So, ADCs are used virtually everywhere where an analog signal has to be processed, stored or transported in digital form like microphones, strain gauges, thermocouple, digital multimeter. So, everywhere you will find uh, uh, some application of ADC. So, ADC, so Next, we will be look into uh, different types of ADCs uh, that are available. 
So, of course, this is this list is not exhaustive. So, uh, in fact, this analog to digital converter design by itself is a research area. So, there is so you even you can today you can find lots of research papers on this analog to digital converters. But the purpose of this course is to understand the basic analog to digital convert, uh, converter designs. So, we will be looking into three alternative designs one is known as successive approximation eddy converter, another is flash type eddy converter, another is dual slope eddy converter. So, successive approximation eddy converter. So, this is a serial converter. So, this will try to uh, approximate it, it will it will try to guess like what is the uh, uh, value of the analog signal. Accordingly, it will set some bits and then if the signal value is higher than the uh, um, guessed value, then we will be further turning on some more bits. So, it will go like this. We will see how this is done. So, in a step by step fashion, so if there are say n bit uh, for an n bit ADC, so it will be doing in n steps by setting and resetting the bits. On the other hand, this flash type ADCs they are pretty fast. So, they are uh, so this convert this uh, it, it uses a number of comparators and these comparators they work in parallel. And accordingly, this uh, flash ADC will be setting uh, this comparator outputs to high such that we can uh, get the corresponding digital bit pattern to understand like what is the corresponding digital value. And this dual slope AD converter, so this uses some uh, reference uh, signal and with respect to that it tries to see like what is the amount of uh, what is the uh, level of the given analog signal. So, that way it is uh, doing a, uh, a dual slope AD converter. So, we will see them one after the other. The first one is the sub successive approximation AD converter. So, here what we have is that, so this is uh, uh, there is a sub successive approximation register this SAR. So, the SAR stands for uh, successive approximation register. So, this successive approximation register, so if I have got an n bit ADC, then the size of this successive approximation register is also n. So, interestingly, it uses one digital to analog converter as a module in this ADC. So, you, so while designing this uh, ADC, we need a DAC uh, to be uh, implemented, DAC to be available. So, so the, the, there are a few signals like clock signal means that in every clock, so it will be doing some operation. So, this SAR register, so it, it has got a clock, so that at every clock output uh, at the clock active point, so the bit pattern will be available on these lines. There is an end of conversion signal or EOC, so this uh, tells uh, the outside world that the conversion is over. And also we have got a sample and hold circuit. So, the sample and hold circuit uh, the input signal is applied here. So, this will be sampled the value will be sampled and held for uh, some time. It will be doing a comparison and then the comparator output will be fed to this SAR so that uh, the, the SAR will be changing the bits. So, we will see it how, we, how it changes. Now, after n such steps this EOC signal becomes high telling the outside world that for this current sample the conversion is over. So, whatever be the value of this the D0 to Dn minus 1, so that gives me the digital equivalent of the analog input signal V in fed here. So, we have got this DAC which is the digital to analog converter, end of conversion signal, successive approximation register SAR, the sample and hold circuit SH, input voltage V in, a comparator and a reference voltage. So, this comparator is uh, simply an operational amplifier which is connected in open um, loop configuration and you see that if this uh, if this signal is uh, more than the output from the DAC is more than V in then this will be high uh, this will go to plus uh, VCC. So, if we assume that this has got uh, supply voltage of uh, connected to VCC and minor VCC and ground then what will happen is that so when we uh, this uh, this value is higher than this then the, the output will be high and later on when the, this uh, v in becomes less than uh, v in becomes higher than uh, this uh, dac output then the it will become low so that way uh, this is a comparator that works in uh, this operational amplifier that gives only two levels of output uh, plus vcc and uh, ground okay so uh, that is the uh, and vref is the reference voltage so how does it operate so, let us try to understand. So, 
this SAR uh, successive approximation type ADC it uses an n bit DAC and original analog uh, uh, results and it performs a binary comparison between V voltage coming out from DAC, V DAC and V in. So, this is the V DAC coming out of the uh, digital to analog converter. So, this is the V DAC and V in they are compared and then this is uh, compared. So, V DAC is compared with V in uh, initially the most significant bit is initialized to 1 for the DAC. So, the successive approximation register what is done is that the most significant bit that is D n minus 1 is set to 1 and rest of the bits are set to 0. As a result this DAC will be outputting a voltage which is uh, equal, equal to uh, Vref by 2. So, this Vref by 2 is compared with V in and if v, v in is higher than Vref by 2 that means, uh, this uh, output will be uh, this comparison output in that case. So, if V n is uh, less than V d a c divided by V ref by 2 to the power n minus uh, 2 to the power 1 that is V ref n equal to 1. So, then then M s b is reset to 0. So, v, if V n is less that means, the, uh, the value that we have guessed through this uh, successive approximation register that voltage value is higher than the V n value. So, as a result the uh, in the in the digital count the MSB should not be 1, so it should be 0. So, MSB is reset to 0. On the other hand, if V in happens to be greater than V D A C which is uh, 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 in this case uh, uh, in this case it is n equal to 1. So, uh, it, it, it this actually if this comparison fails if V in is not less than V D A C. So, this is uh, a bit uh, confusing here. So, we should better say that if uh, V in is greater than V D A C where n equal to 1, n equal to 1. So, success, so uh, that means in this uh, previously uh, we have said this M S B to be equal to 1 in the S A R register and all other bits were 0. So, with that we have got the output from this uh, D A C which is V ref by 2, which is V ref by 2. Now, if this V in happens to be uh, more than V ref by 2 that is a second condition this condition is true. So, this bit must continue as 1 now I have to try to set this bit ok. So, that is that is what is done. So, if V in is greater than V D A C then successive bit is set to 1. So, this bit I try uh, I try with setting equal to 1. Now, these two bits being 1 so V D A C value will be even higher and then again the comparison will be done. So, if now it happens that this is uh, less in that case this will be reset to 0 and then this will be turned to 1. So, it will go like this. On the other hand if we if it is uh, if the initial point itself V in is less than V D A C. So, this bit is uh, reset to 0 and we set uh, this uh, second bit to 1 and it proceeds like this. So, this way the algorithm is repeated till the uh, least significant bit position at the end DAC input equal to ADC output. So, that that so ADC output is that, that one and this uh, for n bit we need some n comparison cycles for this purpose. So, this way this um, conversion takes place. So, we have got an example that will uh, tell how this is going to happen. Suppose, we have got a 5 bit uh, ADC with V in equal to 0 0.6 volt the, uh, the analog uh, voltage value is 0 0.6 volt and V ref reference voltage is 1 volt. So, in the in the first cycle M S B is set to 1. So, this is the 5 bit uh, pattern that we have. So, this is the 5 bit pattern that we have. So, there this M S B is set to 1. So, V ref uh, the V D A C value is V ref divided by 2 that is 0 0.5. So, when we compare uh, 0 0.5 and 0 0.6. So, V in is greater than V D A C. So, as a result the successive approximation register content remains unchanged. In the second cycle this uh, SAR the second bit of the SAR is set. So, it becomes 11000. So, for DAC per bit per voltage. So, if you uh, for every bit. So, in this table we have listed the voltage value corresponding voltage value. So, in cycle 2 when these two bits are set. So, 0.5 plus 0.25. So, that will be the VDAC output. So, that is 0 0.75. So, 0 0.75 is more than 0 0.6 volt. So, in this case V in is less than V D A C as a result this bit will be reset. So, it the D A C content becomes like this S A R content becomes like this. Then we come to the third bit. So, third bit is turned 1 
and third bit's contribution is 0 0.125. So, 0 0.125 is added, so it becomes 0 0.625. Again, V in happens to be less than V D A C, so this bit will be reset. So, we uh, again remain at this position. In the cycle 4, we will be trying out the fourth bit. So, this bit is turned 1 and then the, uh, so the contribution is 0 0.0625, so it becomes 0 0.5625. So, 0 0.5625 is less than V in, so V in is greater than V D A C. So, this bit survives, so this bit remains as 1. In the fifth cycle, so in the fifth cycle, so we turn on the LSB and then the contribution is added, so the value becomes 0 0.59375. And since V in is greater than V D A C, so this bit uh, remains in unchanged. So this bit remains uh, one only. So this way, through this uh, um, uh, so through an iterative step, so the every individual bits from the M S B side is turned on, and then uh, if the content uh, becomes, if the V D D A C output becomes more than the input voltage, input voltage, then the bit is reset. If the input, if the uh, DAC output is less than uh, uh, this input voltage, then the bit is retained to one. Of course, for equal, if the V in and uh, this uh, reference for this V DAC, so these two are equal, then also we have to retain the value. And in fact, in that case, we don't need to proceed with further bits. The rest of the bits will always be zero. But anyway, so that is uh, not shown here as a case, but you can always do that exercise. At any point of time, V in becoming equal to V D A C, whatever be the SAR content, so that is the, the digital output and we can terminate the conversion process there, though it is difficult to detect that situation. So, normally we do for all the n cycles and get take, uh, take the D A C output after n cycles only. Uh, so, next uh, we will be uh, looking into flash type ADC. So, in flash type ADC, so as the name suggests, the conversion is done in a flash. So, so all the, the all the bits are set simultaneously and this is a, a parallel type of ADC. So, the, con the, the elements that we have here is encoder that will convert uh, output to uh, of comparators to binary and we have got a set of comparators. So, any comparator is uh, like this. So, the, if this is a comparator circuit, so you see this V1 and V2, so these two are input to the comparator and v, so it has got uh, Vs plus and Vs minus as the supply voltages. So, this is Vs plus and V saturation plus and V saturation minus, we tell that way. So, if this uh, V1 is greater than V2, then this uh, V out is equal to Vs plus. If V1 is less than V2, then V out is equal to Vs minus. So, that is this is basically logic high and this is logic low. So, these are the two things. Now, what is done? The um, we apply uh, some, uh, so this is the encoder circuit. So, encoder circuit, if, so it is an 8 is to 3, 8 by 3 encoder. So, if you give an 8 bit uh, pattern here, so it will be uh, converted into uh, 3 bit uh, binary output. So, we will see how it operates. So, in case of uh, Flash type ADC, what is done? We have got uh, um, uh, a number of comparators. Okay, so this is an 8-bit uh, ADC. So, so this uh, V in value lies bit. Uh, so V in. So you see, if you look into the circuit, so this is the reference voltage V star, and uh, from this, uh, so we have got a series of resistances. So, we have got, we have connected eight such resistances: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight resistances. So, if you try to measure the voltage at this point, so this is equal to 1 8 V, 1 8 of this V star. Similarly, at this point, so this is 2 8 of V star, that is 1 4 of V star. So, this point is 3 8 of V star like that. So, this V star voltage, the reference voltage we have divided into a number of uh, intermediary values 1 8 V, 1 4 V, 3 8 V up to 7 8 V. And the input voltage is applied to all these comparators simultaneously and this voltage is also applied. So, this uh, first this comparator, this is for the LSB. So, this will be doing a comparison. So, uh, depending upon the uh, voltage value that you have given, V i value that you have given. So, this comparator output may be 0 or 1 depending upon the voltage, uh, the, the, whether the voltage is more than the, uh, the, the voltage that we are getting here. So, if the V i is greater than this 1 8 V star, then this bit will be uh, set to 1. 
Similarly, at this point, if it is more than one fourth V star, then all the, this bit is also set to one. So it may so happen that at this point it becomes uh, low, V in becomes low. So this becomes zero. So rest of the bits are one, and all these bits will be zero from that point onward. So so uh, so then the, it, it goes into a priority encoder. So priority encoder, it will see that uh, these three bits are one. So accordingly, it will be doing an encoding and it, it will be producing a three bit output. So uh, this, uh, so the, so how many bits are one? So this, uh, this significant three bits are one. So you can say the count value that we have is basically, um, uh, so this is, uh, so if you, if you think in terms of count values, so the initial, the first count value is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So that is uh, outputted as three zeros, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So that will be outputted as 0, 0, 1, then 0, 0, 0, 0, then uh, so, so it, the 1 will start at some point and then it will continue. So if you get, uh, uh, after that if you get the pattern which is two ones, so this is 2, output will be 0, 1, 0 and the, the example that we have taken. So here it is 1, 1, 1. So this will, then this bit is the bit, bit before that is 0. So this is co coded as 3. So it is it will be coded as 0, 1, 1. So this basically counts. So at this uh, so at the at this output of these comparators, so we have got the count value, but in some unary number system you can say. So it can uh, produce all 0 to uh, all 1, but the pattern that it can produce is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So it can go like this. Okay? So this one, so once a bit becomes 1, the, remember the bits towards the right of it must be 1 and the bits towards the left of it must be 0. So it is important to find out where, how many 1s are there. So accordingly, this priority encoder circuit, it can uh, it can do the uh, it can do a uh, encoding and output the corresponding sequence number. So in this particular example, we have got VREF equal to 8 volt and a 3 bit encoder. So resolution is given by 8 by 2 to the power 3, that is 1 volt. Okay. So number of comparators needed is 2 to the power n minus 1. So that is 2 to the power 3 minus 1, that is 7. So we need 7 such comparators. And uh, so one additional encoder bit uh, will be, so if we, if we say that, okay, instead of um, uh, a three bit, uh, instead of having three bit uh, ADC, we will take a, we will design a four bit ADC, then the number of encoders will become 16. So every additional encoder bit, number of comparators will double. So that is the cost of flash ADC. So the number of com comparators needed is pretty high. but this conversion is immediate. So this uh, whenever this input is given accordingly, uh, this unary pattern will be set here and this priority encoder will encode it into one of the um, uh, uh, binary pattern. So that way uh, this uh, flash ADC works. So another example, suppose V in equal to 5.5 volt and VREF equal to 8 volt. So V in lies so 5.5 volt. So V in will lie, lie between become 5 and 6. Okay. So this is uh, so the bit pattern will be like this. So this is uh, uh, between 5 and 6. So up to this, uh, uh, this so this uh, seventh and eighth bit. So they, or sixth and seventh bit. So they will be zero, and the uh, up uh, up to bit number five they are all one. So then. Because because Vcom five is uh, VREF into five by eight that is five volt and Vcom six is VREF into six by eight that is six volt. So comparator one to five will be equal to one. Comparator six to seven will be equal to zero. So this is the um, uh, unary uh, coding that I get. So zero zero one one one. So there there are five ones in it. So the binary output of this prior priority encoder is one zero one. So that is the operation of the flash ADC. Now. Next, we'll be looking into another uh, analog to digital converter, which is known as dual slope analog to digital converter or dual slope ADC. So basically, the circuit is like this. So there is a uh, reference voltage and this uh, uh, ADC is uh, this uh, capacitor is charged for some time. 
and then it is connected to this uh, uh, supply voltage and the uh, this input signal and then we try to see in comparison to this how much time this capacitor uh, needs to get discharged or charged so like that so i will uh, explain it how does it work so an unknown input voltage is applied to the input of the integrator and allowed to ramp for a fixed amount of time tu so initially sorry so initially the input voltage the v in is the input voltage so it is uh, connected to this and uh, this uh, circuit is kept on for some amount of time so that is controlled by this control logic so this uh, gives this uh, start and stop pulses so this uh, control logic will be telling the uh, we will be noting down the time and for tu amount of time this switch remains in this position as a result this integrator output so this is an integrator configuration so integrator output will be increasing like this so integrator output increases like this so it is charged so it, it is allowed to ramp for a fixed amount of time tu then a known reference voltage of opposite polarity is applied to the integrator and is allowed to ramp until the integrator output returns to zero so at this point what is done so the sorry at this point this uh, switch is taken down to the vref position and it is ensured that the polarity of vref is the inverse of polarity of v in then when you do this so capacitor will start discharging okay so because this is a negative voltage so it will if the v in is positive vref is negative so it will start discharging so we uh, see the depending upon the uh, value of vref uh, so and the amount of charge this capacitor has so it will take some amount of time to get discharged so this is uh, happening here that a known reference voltage of opposite polarity is applied to the integrator and is allowed to ramp until the integrator output returns to zero so this is the time td the input voltage is computed as a function of the reference voltage the constant run up time period and the measured run down time period so these values are uh, so how is it meant may, may computed so v in is then given by minus of v ref into td by tu so minus comes because v in and v ref are of opposite polarity and this td by tu so this ratio will tell me what is the ratio between v, v ref and v in so that is how we uh, measure the input voltage so this uh, run down time measurement is usually made in units of converter clocks so longer integration times will allow uh, higher resolution so then what is happening what is happening is that we in this circuit we have got a counter so we count the amount of time for which it has to come down so the, the, the time needed for td td time is fixed the counter value will be fixed the tu uh, time will be computed uh, by uh, looking into this counter when this uh, capacitor is discharging and then this td tu ratio will be co computed by this uh, control logic and it will be uh, telling the what is the corresponding bit pattern so that part is not explicitly shown this control logic will finally output the bit pattern depending upon this td tu ratio so if you compare between the adcs then this dual slope adcs are uh, pre, um, uh, a bit slow uh, flash adcs are very fast and successive approximation are medium fast cost uh, dual slope medium cost flash adc high cost and this successive approximation is low cost resolution dual slope is 12 to 16 bit flash uh, adc is 4 to 12 bit and successive approximation 8 to 16 bit 